Welcome to this Lab Rat Digital Lab. Today we want to talk about how to transfer from one orbit around the Earth to another higher orbit to make a rendezvous with something like the space station. To do this, we'll use the Holman Minimum Energy Transfer Orbit. Okay, so what do I mean by a transfer trajectory? First of all, here's my simple circular orbit around the Earth. This is my original orbit that I start off in. But what I ultimately want to do is achieve a higher orbit to rendezvous with a space station. Now to do that, I need to go from the lower orbit to the higher orbit, and I use an elliptical transfer orbit. Now the Hohmann transfer is a minimum energy transfer, which means I need the least amount of delta V, the change in velocity, to get me to move to the higher orbit. Now, here's my spacecraft, and the first thing I need to do is fire rocket motors to change the delta V of the vehicle to pick up the new elliptical transfer trajectory. So I only fire my rocket motors for a brief period of time and then coast most of the way to apogee of the transfer ellipse. Now, if I don't do anything at this point, the spacecraft will continue to follow along the elliptical orbit and I will not achieve the desired circular orbit at the higher altitude. So let's try this transfer again. Now this time, I only want to use half of the transfer orbit because I want to fire my rocket motors at apogee to achieve the new desired circular orbit at the higher altitude. So once again, I fire my rocket motors to enter into the transfer ellipse. Now I only burn my rocket motors for a short period of time, and again, coast until apogee. Now once at apogee of the transfer ellipse, I need to reorient my spacecraft and fire my rocket motors once again to add delta V to the trajectory to circularize the orbit at the desired altitude. Once I do that, my engine is cut off and I coast and remain in the new higher circular orbit. Now, as I said earlier, the Hohmann transfer is a minimum energy transfer, which requires the least amount of delta V, but it also takes the most time to get from the inner orbit to the outer orbit. Now, it is possible to have a faster transfer orbit, but that means I'm going to have to add more delta V at the lower orbit then have a higher delta V in order to change the velocity to achieve the new higher circular orbit. And that's depicted in the figure at the right. Now this requires more delta V, which requires more propellant, which makes the rocket heavier and more expensive. So ideally, we like to use the home and transfer to do things as efficiently as possible. Okay, that will do it for this digital laboratory. Make sure you go to labratscientific.com for more detailed information on this subject.